Welcome back to another, it's me Cam from Cam's Club, welcome back to another daily Chelsea transfer news video where today I'll be carrying on talking about Ryan Cherky, Romelu Lukaku, Moses Casado and all things Chelsea. So if you're new here, I'm Cam from Cam's Club and I do daily Chelsea transfer videos. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs very soon so if you could like and subscribe that would help me a lot but without further ado let's get on the first now story. Going on to court offside from, from Richard Romano of course who has said Chelsea are leading AC Milan in the race for the signing of Leon winger Ryan Cherky with the Blues now in direct club to club talks over the transfer. Leon are asking for 50 million euros. Chelsea feel a deal could be done for closer than 40 million euros. This deal is a lot cheaper than I thought it would have been. I thought it would have been the 60 million euro mark however 40 million euros is around 35 million pounds which is similar to the price we paid for Nicholas Jackson. As much as Nicholas Jackson could be a great player, I think Rayan Cherky is of a higher calibre, you know, still young, 21 years, 19 years of age, sorry, so very exciting and could be the future of Chelsea with players like Madueke, Mudrik and such. We have built, you know, a good rapport and connection with Leon with the signing of Malagusto, allowing Gusto to, uh, you know, stay on loan for, you know, that end of the season when we signed him in January is probably you know, going to put us ahead of AC Milan and hopefully this deal can be done very soon. It's good that we've got talks ongoing so more bids can come on as the days progress and hopefully this deal can be done sooner than I thought. On to the next story. Now, on to my daily Moises Casado update and of course I'm going to start with Fabrizio Romano who has said, I understand Moises Casado deal is now moving between Chelsea and Brighton. The two clubs are discussing the amount of fixed fee is 70 million. Not enough. Deal will 100% also include add-ons. Negotiations continue to find a solution as soon as possible. Yep, thanks to Arsenal and Declan Rice, the 70 million pound that we thought we were going to get, you know, in January or now looks a lot less likely. Between 70 and 100 million is probably the price tag we're looking at. I know it's a big range, but, you know, it can't be more than Enzo Fernandez. It can't be more than Declan Rice. Although Brighton Phil should be more than both of them, hopefully that's not going to happen. 80 million pounds is my guess what's going to happen. But the add ons, you know, 5, 10, depending on if we win the leagues, things like that, they could skyrocket. But going on to Bobby Vincent, who carries on by saying Chelsea remain confident in the signing of Moise Casado. Brian has said to be willing to accept an offer in the region of £80 million. Chelsea want to structure the deal so they don't have to pay the sum in a one-off fee. Yeah, yeah. Like we've been doing in January, player installations. But £75 million, £80 million. Very expensive, however, in the current market. There's nothing much you can do. But staying with Brighton, I'm going to go to Niz Arkansella who has said Brighton have seen a record £40 million bid rejected for Kerwell and have now begun sounding out cheaper alternatives. Yep. We've said he's untouchable, although, you know, £40 million isn't untouchable for Brighton. That, you know, is literally, as it said, a club record for Leroy Kerwell. He was at Brighton for a year, so if that doesn't show you how good they think he is, then I don't know what else will. Of course, Liverpool are interested and Man City are interested if... Gvardiol, their main target, falls through. But, you know, I think Chelsea is still going to stand strong and say he's untouchable. But yeah, that just showed the levels of Leroy Curl and our academy. On to the final story. I'm going to end off with a couple of stories on Romelu Lukaku, who is turning out to be the shit that won't flush. I'm going to start with Nizar Kinsella, who has said, Chelsea remain unhappy with Inter's latest offer as they approach still fall short. What was their offer, you may ask? J Jacobs Ben has said, Chelsea have three serious bidders from Romelu Lukaku and a continuing conversation with all of them into Milan at the lowest. Pretty sure the Milan one was 30 million euros, which I'll be talking about in the next by for a bit show, but three different clubs. One, Inter Milan. The second one could be Juventus and the third one could be a Saudi club or it could be two different Saudi clubs. In my eyes, we're not going to get 40 million pounds that we want from Inter or another European club. Ship him off to Saudi. Just push him out the door against his will because that's the, that's the only chance we can get our money back. But for Richard Romano has said, more on Romelu Lukaku deal. Chelsea remain in contact with Inter but consider €30 million Euros bid. Still not the level wanted to make the deal happen. New talks will follow. Negotiations ongoing with Inter. Also, Chelsea believe there are two more clubs prepared to enter the race. Yep, Juventus said they're interested. I don't know if they're going to enter the race. He said, you know, Lukaku playing for Inter for a couple of years, I don't think he joined Juventus, but if it gets to the stage where, you know, like most Saudi clubs do, offer him astronomical wages, you know, Jordan Henderson, 700k a week, things like that, he probably won't say no and we'll get the field 40 million. As much as Chelsea were clowned on at the start of the season for shipping all our debut off to Saudi, look how pretty much most teams are shipping off their debut and it's not, they're not complaining anymore, which is a bit weird. We just decided to do it first. Anyway, 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for more Chelsea transfer news. Video, but hopefully, Casado is edging closer, Cherky is edging closer, and Lukaku is edging closer out the door. See you then.